With Creo Simulate 3.0, users will now have the ability to use map mesh control options with 2D models. Available in the Refine Model tab, under the Auto Mesh Control options, you'll see Mapped Mesh. This will be helpful for users that have 2D models with contact interfaces where the accuracy of the calculated pressure is dependent upon the refinement of the mesh in the contact area. When performing a large deformation analysis, or models with elastoplastic materials. On the screen is a 2D assembly of a shock absorber shim stack. This shim stack controls the flow of dampening oil within the shock absorber. During the compression or rebound stroke, the increased pressure of the shim stack deforms, allowing oil to flow. In our example, we want to determine the total deformation of the stack and then tune the shims by changing the thickness, diameter, or number of shims. Now based on this analysis, we require defining contact interfaces with finite friction between the shims and a defined pressure force. I've already gone ahead and defined the given interfaces between the shims. In addition, I've also applied the given pressure load. Let's go ahead and review the mesh. Here is the resulting mesh that Creo Simulate has created for us. Now as this analysis will be run with large deformation calculations enabled, we should try to refine the mesh at the given contact regions. At this point, let's go ahead and click on Control map the mesh. Immediately this brings up the map mesh control dialog where we could go select some of the geometry. The first area that I want to map the mesh is on this top shim. I'm going to select on the surface geometry and it automatically creates a quad map mesh in that region. You'll notice that it's a default 3x3 mesh. Within the dialog we can control the density of the mesh where we can actually increase it or decrease it accordingly or I can also select on a given edge where I can subdivide that mesh along that reference. In addition, for the map mesh control in 2D, in, for the map mesh control in 2D, I only have the region shape of quad and tri. Let's create one more region and complete this operation. At this point, we'll click on OK. Now that we've created the mapped mesh regions, let's create the mesh again. As you can see, where we created the mapped mesh regions, we have a more refined mesh presented. At this point we could go run our analysis under Home Analysis where we should find the runtime to be shorter.